Here we go. We're going to take this chicken breast and cut this and plop it into the pan. Now, any of the seasoning that's left over, unfortunately, you can't use again. So be a little sparing with it. A little bit of the blackening spice. Now, that pan's getting nice and hot while we're working right now. And we're going to add just a little bit of canola oil to it just to make sure that when the chicken breast first goes in that it doesn't stick right to it. Get the seasoning really packed into these breasts, okay, like so. Take a look at that. Now let's hit the other sides. All right. Pack them in with your finger, and there we are. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the colors, look at the blackening. It's not the chicken, it's actually the spices that you're seeing. We're gonna get that onto that side, and then we're gonna transfer it to the oven where we're gonna let it cook for a little bit longer and get, make sure that we cook that chicken all the way through. Now, take these chicken breasts in the blackening skillet, pop it into the oven at 350, let this hang out in there a little bit. So before we drop the pasta, let's season that water a bit. There we go. And in with about a pound. Now take a second when you first pop that pasta in the water because you don't want the pasta to cook at the bottom and not at the top. So we're gonna get that all worked down into the pot. Just pulling these blackened breasts out of the oven. Look at those. We're gonna let these rest on the cutting board for a little bit so when we cut into them, we don't lose all the great juices and flavor. But while those are resting, we're gonna get started on this Cajun chicken Alfredo sauce. So a nice big skillet will work great. Get some heat going on that and time to go to the fridge. now. The heavy cream, of course, for the Alfredo, but what is the real key ingredient? It's the white wine. We are going to add a little bit of white wine to it to deglaze it. And some of my favorite sun-dried tomatoes, marinated sun-dried tomatoes. So let's get these up here. Now we do need a couple cloves of garlic also. Those are real key important. And what we're gonna do is something different on these cloves. On these cloves, we're not gonna put them in the press. Why? Well, we wanna go ahead and mince them up. Now it's gonna be a little bit bigger piece than when we, when we actually do it in the, uh, in the press. And that is because when it goes in the pan, if it's too small, it has a tendency to burn a little bit more. So let's break these down. So this should just finish this up and my pan should be ready to go. So let's hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. In with this minced garlic. Ah, oh, beautiful. And I'm gonna do enough sun-dried tomatoes here to have some for the Cajun chicken Alfredo. Mince those up, those go in. Now let's get to the chicken breast because we're gonna cut this chicken breast up kind of in a little bit of a julienne. Pop those in. Oh, you should smell that garlic working right now. Watching that garlic so it doesn't get into the burn stage. Let's hit it with a little bit of kosher salt and a little fresh cracked pepper. Oh boy, a little white wine. Stand back, that could flare up on you. And the sauce that's gonna tie it all together for the Alfredo part of it, some heavy cream. Up, oh, looks great. And right into the pot. Pasta down first and put the chicken up on top so everybody can see it. Beautiful, and you can just smell all the flavors coming out of it right now. 